face down, do you scan? Yeah, I'm done. Take the leg out. What does that need to bear? Our dating scan at the hospital. So, 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 so. Uh, the weather is so cold. It's actually been raining all day. I don't understand. It's already to some minutes to four. And uh, our scan is for four o'clock, and the taxi will be here. Huh? Show the log bin. No. Oh, okay. Please, babe, what did you see from? In the carton. Hmm? In the carton. Hmm. The other one. The other one. Yes. I actually saw here, but I wasn't sure. Thank you. 
so that we can so that I can see if I can log in. So guys, we just got back. We just got back from our dating scan that we went earlier. That was about. We went. Our uh, appointment was for four, and this is already past six. So we spent about two hours at that. Uh, so yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> We went for the dating scan we did the scan and um after we had the scan they wanted to check for um the down syndrome they wanted to do the screening for the down syndrome so that they could get my blood sample and all while still doing the scan but then that's how my baby was not uh, sleeping like um according to According to the nurse, he's expected to be sleeping straight. But man of God was not sleeping straight. <laughs> it was just there and folded, you know, in a cool, calm, sleepy state. And then I had to jump up like several times. She was, she first said I should raise my hip up, um, raise my leg up, raise my hip, and then and then shake my bum, shake my body like that. I did that for about, I think I did like like three times. She did this scan, she did this scan again, still nothing. And then she asked me to jump up. I did that, jump up as well. Still nothing, guys. At this point I was like, well, man can't be bothered, you know. But then she now says she's gonna give me five minutes to go to the corridor and walk around and after walking around for five minutes if it's still the same thing then they will probably have to book me for another scan the following week because they won't be able to see according to her that they needed to see the amount of fluid that is around the baby's neck in order for them to be able to see and uh, to book that i mean to be able to go through that screening of down syndrome and all and so i went out we went out because i went with my husband we went out and then i was walking around the corridor i was going up and down as i was <laughs> as i was asked to and so after that we went back inside for after about five minutes and then i jumped up again and then lie down and then did the test and did it scan again and this time around my baby was already lying flat the way they wanted it and she was able to measure uh from head to bum to just for the screening and she was able to also see what she was looking for as well so that's it after that after i left her uh I was supposed to wait for the midwife and then someone came up to me to say oh uh you know i did mention in my last video that i was gonna be taking flu vaccine and also my second dose of uh, covid vaccine as well so she came to tell me i could do that while i wait for the midwife to attend to me so we went there and they were like my husband too can take while we were there they called my name and then we had to leave before i took the vaccine and then we went to see the midwife and so the midwife also did um okay they now told me to come in first and then they were gonna come grab my husband later so 
while I was here, it wasn't even, they just asked me, you know, you know, like when some people are trying to whisper to you that is everything okay with your partner, you know, they, they just wanted to know if there is any form of domestic abuse at all. And at that point, if you are being abused or anything like that, is at that point you need to actually speak up. That's the point so that they will be able to protect you, protect the baby. And like I said, this is this period is just for you and your baby. So they are actually particular about your life and your baby, your safety and your baby's safety as well. So that was it. I just told them, no, everything is fine with my husband and I and that he can come in there, no worries. So they went in to call him in and then I received a call earlier. They said it was about my test and all that. So they called my husband uh, in and then they were like, oh, that well they did the test so apparently the blood sample that they took from me was i think it was sent to them or i don't know i think it was sent to them at the hospital that i went today from my midwife and then they were like um they noticed that i had the trait of um of uh i make like a carrier of sickle cell and because my genotype is actually as i've always known that back from nigeria and then my husband is aa so they were like uh they're not gonna rule out that they even though they know that my husband could be aa or we know that they will still need to do the test for him so they did it they took my husband's blood sample then they asked a series of questions um most questions were the questions that has already been asked by the midwife but then we answered also the active i'm diabetic any symptoms of am i allergic to anything i said no i'm fine they they asked quite a few questions and then what else yeah and then they took another blood sample to now carry out the test for the syndromes you know and and then that that was it and then i i went back to take my covid vaccine i should be putting the video so i'm telling you it's like it's nothing so they say it's nothing yeah it's nothing honestly it's better than getting flu this one just stings a little bit <laughs> she said it's better than getting flu <laughs> it is <laughs> it is there oh yeah. yeah that was all right wasn't it, it hey. was. <coughs> there just press on there a minute that's the flu one. Mm. <laughs> you don't want flu because people are in bed for ages with flu. Are you serious? Yeah. Is that bad? Influenza yeah. virus? For flu, yes. For cough and cold, <coughs> then no. But for flu, <coughs> you can, honestly, you could be really poorly. Are you coming with plaster for this? I will have a look because that one doesn't use Oh, food. okay. So Press it, you're going. That and then I'll have a look that. Oh, okay, okay. Let me just have a little look at it because it doesn't tend to be that way. No, it's the more the COVID. Right, this one now, okay? It's easy peasy. It is easy peasy. Honestly. Okay, one, two, three. That's it. Has it gone in? <laughs> yes, it's all done. There. Ouch. Really? Oh, Ouch. Did that was sting. Did this thing? I didn't. Yeah. Did it, it yeah, it's, usually, it's usually the blue one that stings more. If you tense yourself, though, it'll hurt more. Like when you're having a baby. Nice and calm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Is it your, is it your first baby? Yes. Yeah. So you need to practice the relaxation techniques. Okay. Eh? Hey. Mixed with the yoga. Yes, yoga is very good. Yeah. Okay, this one. I, I, I remember. So I took two vaccines today, guys. I took the COVID vaccine and the flu vaccine as well. So I took my second dose of COVID vaccine. My husband also took his own second dose. And um, I also took uh, COVID vaccine. So the flu vaccine was on the right while the covid vaccine was on the left hand so and then they gave me this bring on new chapter 
mamas and papas so download the bounty app so probably we'll just scan this code and then i'll be able to download the app let me show you guys what is inside okay they gave me this and yes they gave me another multivitamin they asked me if they gave me at my midwife i said yes so she was like oh do i want more i'm like no, no harm i can have more so she gave me this and then they just put this also and they were like oh this is just like um emergency stuff that in case uh, i'm not with this one and i needed to use it this can just serve as emergency one and then uh, what else okay so this is baby guide bounty baby guide. i think this is a magazine okay oh this i should i will be able to read this is more yeah so i'll be reading this i'll be taking my time to go through it having a happy healthy pregnancy window to the womb scans and tests explained so that's it and then what else Okay, I think this is still pregnant care. Maybe they are just doing advert. advert. <laughs> then pregnant, have you have your COVID vaccine vaccination? Yeah, I've already got. What else? Pregnant immunization helps to protect you and your baby infect from infectious diseases. So these are like pamphlets on what you eat uh, and um, on vaccination as well and then this cute pen came with it so that's it about that and then trust me <laughs> as i was already told by my midwife i went with my hospital file i think this is actually more cute let me just see if the file can actually enter that place so my other I just actually just had to use this carrier bag for um, my clear bag of file jacket for us today and yes we had our scan our baby had three months today is three months today is 12 weeks and six days so tomorrow we'll be entering our 13 weeks so guys peaceful baby in it i've been declaring that it will keep me in perfect peace and also you see, it's keeping my baby in perfect peace. And now they wanted it to jump up. They wanted my baby to jump up. So that's it. That's this can. That's the photo of my womb. This is the baby's head. The baby's bum. His hand and leg folded. You know, it's growing well. The heartbeat is doing well. Everything is fine. And then the, I didn't mention this. Uh, I mentioned it, but then I didn't really give it a name. So uh, I was talking about me seeing a bleeding when I went for my scan, first scan and then they actually diagnosed, you know, they always have a name for everything, you know. So they said it was hematoma and then when we went for today's scan, I asked the lady that there was something like that before in my first scan that I hope is no longer there and all. So she was like, no, that there is nothing there, oh, I was like, that everything is cleared off now so yippee yeah so they gave us they printed this for us we were not allowed to make videos because i did ask the lady if it was fine for me to make a short video of the baby's movement and all but she said i'm sorry we don't allow that okay so and i think my husband said they wrote it somewhere so i didn't notice and then they gave us this fine jacket where we'll be keeping the photos of our baby yes yeah, so since it's three so they gave us three jackets oh don't stress me so we'll probably be just be cutting the pictures out and be fitting them in we have two before and now we have three so this is five okay that's basically what happened today what else have i actually not mentioned yeah that's it add my vaccine and that's it guys Okay, then this one to go alcohol free, no risk. Is this from today or yesterday? So, guys, thank you again for watching this episode of my pregnancy journey. And so, like I said, we are going to be rounding up with 12 and entering with 13 by... Okay, tomorrow will be week... 
tomorrow will be week 13 actually because seven days make a week in it and to, and it's 12 days according to this count that we had today so they usually will put the date somewhere the week um one minute so she told us she said is uh, and then yes and then they got me booked in for another scan they said i'm going to be doing glucose test and that will be in week 25 and i'll be coming in for another scan in week 20 so in eight weeks i'll be going in for another scan in less than eight weeks basically because we are entering week 13 already in uh, week 20 i'll be i'll be going for another scan and we um week um 13 sorry week 25 I'll be, i got distracted don't mind me yeah week 13 we'll be going for okay yeah this is the glucose tolerance test that they will be probably gonna take half a day because she said i will have to fast then that from 10 p.m till morning when i go for the for the test i won't eat anything from 10 p.m to the following morning I won't eat anything and then after that time that's it you guys after the test they will first do one set then i will read they'll keep me on bed rest for two hours then they will introduce glucose they will give me glucose and then i will do another test so that's how the glucose test will be done and that's in 25 that's when my baby is already 25 weeks so okay guys that's all about today's update on my first my dating scan i've shown you guys what the dating scan is and how it went so thank you so much guys for watching if you have not subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video or vlog love you guys